Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Microtash 64 bit here once more again, and it's been a while since I've made a video, but I'm back, and I'm glad I'm back because just recently, Parallels and VMware have just released their newest versions of their virtualization platform, Parallels with the release of Parallels Desktop 5.0 for Mac, and VMware with VMware Fusion 3.0 for Mac. And um, I know the last video, so we looked at Parallels 4.0, and I'm going to do an, ex an extra episode to discuss the newest features in Parallels Desktop 5.0 for Mac. I have my Windows Vista uh, virtual machine here. As you may see, the icon looks a little different, a little dark red than uh, the more brighter. We'll click it, and it's going to open up the new... Uh, or the virtual machine. The interface of Parallels Desktop 5.0 is different as we can see here. Looks a little bit more sleeker, more uh, interesting I should say. The startup sequence is the same, but you will see here the menu options at the bottom have changed. By clicking this button at the bottom of the virtual machine, you can access all of the hardware, as well as switch to different modes. We can switch to full screen mode, in which our whole screen is immersed. You'll also notice that when changing modes, Parallels the desktop will give you a nice uh, tidbit about how to switch back. Now I've customized my previous version of Parallels, so don't worry about this Alt Shift F. That's just my customized uh, short key for getting into full screen. Let's go back to uh, window view, a single window view. We'll make sure we can see. Log in, and I've gone all. I've gone 100% virtual, meaning that I no longer use Boot Camp on my Mac. Um, I've now gone into full virtualization. I think that it's one of the most interesting things in the world of computing. And uh, I've gone complete 100%. I no longer use boot camp. And um, so that's that. So anyway, and of course I'll be using Parallels 5.0 as my primary virtual machine. That's just my opinion. It's my primary platform. You may use VMware, but they're all very great virtualization platforms. So let's take a look at some of the features here. The first thing you will notice if you've upgraded to uh, 5.0 from 4.0, if you're using Windows Vista or Windows 7, you will be happy to know that both Parallels 5.0 and VMware 3.0 now supports the Windows Aerial effect in the 3D flip. If you have Windows Vista and if you're using Windows 7, all of the Aerial Peak, the Aerial Snap, the aerial visuals, all of the, all of that, whatever you want to call it, when it supports it. Parallels and VMware now supports Windows Aerial. So if that's uh, a big deal to you, which it is to me, because I'm I very visual, and I have to have that visual experience when using Windows, um, you will be happy to know that they both now support that, and. You will notice that upon upgrading and logging into your Windows account, you will see that Parallels has this has uh, automatically changed your visual to the Windows area. Another thing you might also notice too, upon going to full screen mode, let's go into full screen mode here in which our entire computer screen will be immersed you will notice this nice little tidbit about changing okay. 
look at that and by going to the far left top corner it'll bring you back to a single window or show you um, back or bring you back to not full screen bring you back to a single window you also notice a button here which allows you to quickly stop shut down pause or suspend your virtual machine a new mode called crystal is in effect you can go ahead and choose view in crystal now crystal is a new mode it works similar to coherence except instead it gives you more integration with your Mac desktop so let's try that again and this is quite nice because at first I didn't quite get it because it just seemed like another version of coherence but it works look at this what happens is it creates a nice little Windows uh, stacks folder in which you can access all of your applications. And I'm going to change the stack to grid, not list, grid. And I can now view all of my applications. If we go to Office, I can open up Word right in from the stack. And just like that, where to open up, as well as you have this parallels uh, icon here, and you can go ahead and click that and get access to the Windows Start menu. And we have Word open up, and you also notice too that Windows Area does work even in coherence and crystal modes, which is really nice. Another thing you'll notice here is this Windows disk here. If you're using Windows, when you have your um, when you're logged in, you'll be able to access your entire disk, your Windows local C disk. You can open up more applications. Um, how about the where? Is, oh, there it is. Windows Calendar. That opens up and you can run all of your programs that way. And you see all of the status icons up here. Now, Parallels is, in my opinion, a little faster than VMware 3.0. But you can go ahead and make your own test benchmarks if you want. But that's just my opinion. I'm going to go ahead and switch exit crystal mode go back to single window now if you you also notice that upon creating a new virtual machine you can you see that there is a little difference in the uh, interface Mac OS 10 server Linux you can see all of those operating systems we looked at before if we go to configure you will notice that the configuration interface is different another thing too if you have a Windows Vista or Windows XP or Windows 7 um, virtual machine and if you upgrade it to 5.0 you Parallels will go ahead and automatically start the updating of the Parallels tools. You will not need to reactivate your Windows um, Virtual Machine. Parallels will go ahead and automatically install the updated Parallels tools. You will need that in order for your Virtual Machine to take advantage of the new features that Parallels has to offer. So just go ahead and install and update. I wish I can say a lot more, but unfortunately I'm getting I'm running out of time. But you can go ahead and read on the internet and look at some of the other YouTube videos about Parallels Desktop 5.0. It's a really nice upgrade and I would highly recommend it. 
So that's it for this video. Parallels Desktop 5.0 for Mac.